Check this out. You see that? Yes, I was at the Five Seconds of Summer Meet You There tour yesterday. They just left Chicago and it was such an amazing time. I was like super close to the stage and I also met some celebrities when I was out there. It was just an amazing time. But today I will be doing a college dorm tour for you guys because I've been in this room for a couple weeks now. Uh, the room is now complete, everything has arrived, and I think it's time for you guys to see it. So I'm not gonna waste any more time, let's get right to it. It's probably the cleanest my room will ever be. So this is my dorm right as you walk in. Uh, I guess I'm not really going to be filming that side because that's my roommate's side. You guys don't really need to see that. So let's just start at the beginning right here. So right here we got a little microwave on the floor. It's just pretty basic microwave. Right here I have my little Brita water pitcher so I can have some fresh water in the dorm. And right here I have this little food shelf in which I have my ramen, pretty basic. I have uh, some like crackers, candy, and other miscellaneous stuff right here. That's little paper plates and oops, forks, spoons, all that stuff. A little reusable bowl that I have, some Clorox wipes, and then I have this nice little picture of Chicago right here, which is originally supposed to be hung up, but the little hooks couldn't hold it. And then right here, I have some pictures of some tattoos that I want to be getting in the future. This actually was written for me just yesterday. At the Five Sauce concert, I actually was able to meet Call This Cool. Uh, you might know her from YouTube. And I asked her if she could write me a tattoo, because I had planned for Ashton to write it for me, but I knew that it was kind of hard to get Ashton to write it, so I thought, hey, I want you to write it instead. Continuing on, I have this nice little picture of Beauty and the Beast here. You'll notice it looks kind of different, but that'll become later. Over here, I have my little homemade 1,000 subscriber YouTube plaque. That's really nice. And then here is my huge gaming setup. Uh, on top of it, though, is my little fridge that I have right here. I have all these uh, leftover foods. Oh, I actually have some wings there. That's pretty nice. My TV is here, and then uh, right here, I have my Nintendo Switch that Christian got me. Um, also, I got my Xbox, nice little extension cord, power strip that I have so it could reach over here. Controllers, TV remote, pretty basic. And then for this entire wall right here, I'm just going to be going over the whole thing, I guess. Um, right here, I have all productions I've ever been in, like Joseph, Into the Woods, Shrek, Peter and the Starcatcher. Just so many shows I've been in. And then, as for these little ones, I have all of my favorite shows right here, Hamilton, Dear Evan Hansen, oh, in which I'm going to be seeing that. I'm going to be seeing both of these later this year. I've already seen Hamilton, but I want to go back. But Dear Evan Hansen, I just found out that they're coming to Chicago. I'm super excited about that. You'll also notice I have these nice little Christmas lights, and then they have these little clothespins attached to it, and I just have a bunch of random pictures right here. It even looks better in the nighttime, so I guess I'll put a little quick clip of that. Right here I have my music poster, I really like this music poster, just what it says. And then right here I have my very nice Beatles Abbey Road poster, I think it really goes to the college aesthetic so that's why I brought it. Right here I have a nice little coloring from my girlfriend, who's right there, you guys already know her. Right here is my desk in which I do all my schoolwork, or I guess classes haven't really started yet because it's early in the year, but whatever. Um, I have this nice little rocking chair which is kind of, it's not the best rocking chair because it doesn't even rock smoothly, but whatever. I have my garbage can and under here I have my 3DS, my Nintendo Switch case and then just a bunch of school forms I probably haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> and then right here I have my DVDs and then also Xbox games, anything that I might need because I knew that it would be better to just have it all in there and instead of having a huge stack of games over here. Just save a little space, a little power strip that I have for my desk. Here is my phantom power in which I power my microphone. My microphone is attached to this big metal arm right here, so when I'm using it, it just slings out right here. I can do what I need to do, and then when I'm not using it, I can just tuck it away, turn off my phantom power supply. Got my nice little desk lamp here. I have my clock so I can tell the time, and then right here is my MacBook, which I just got, so I can just do all my work on that. And then, here are my Razer Kraken Pro headphones. I really love these headphones. I use them to edit, I use them to game, even listen to music. They're just great headphones, I highly recommend them. 
And then this is my Bluetooth speaker. On my floor right here, we have this very nice gray rug that we got. Um, we knew that we wanted a rug because walking on tiles for an entire year would become very uncomfortable and also the floor is very cold. So that's why we got this rug. It's very fuzzy, it's very nice, brand new. Over here we have my bed. I guess it's pretty basic. I got my little pillow in which I could draw stuff on this, so it's very cool. And then underneath my bed I have more storage. Hold on, just throw that over. I got my shoes underneath my bed. I have my little laundry basket in which I have like some dirty clothes in there. Got my hoverboard, I have my spike ball set, which is very nice. I have my little laptop desk thing. Over here I got my ukulele, my penny board, in which I am going to be using to ride around because half of my classes are all on the other side of campus, so this is going to become very useful. Right here I have a nice tripod for my camera. I have some music stands over here. And then I have another shelf which holds like bags and other miscellaneous stuff. I have a sleeping bag which I actually don't need so I'm going to be bringing that home soon. Right here is my Vic Firth tenor pad because I am in marching band, I play the tenor drums. And right here is my luggage in which I actually don't need that either. The only reason I had the sleeping bag and luggage is because I just went to Utah. And then in these plastic bins I have all my winter... Ah. I have all my winter clothes, which I'm going to be getting out later on once fall is done. So that's it for under the bed. On the other side of the room, I have my little wardrobe and it has a mirror so we could get dressed in it. I have my towel right here and then I also have a little hand towel because our bathrooms actually only have air dryers and you know those things never really work. So every time I leave for the bathroom, I take this with me so I can just dry my hands with it. And then on the inside of it, we have all of my hoodies. I have my nice bathrobe right here just and a bunch of other stuff, extra hangers. Then down here I have my shower shoes because those communal bathrooms are disgusting. And on top of that I have my shower caddy right here because I need something to take with me to the shower so I bring that every single time I need to go. And then up here I have just miscellaneous bathroom stuff like this is, this is what I take every single morning when I get ready, my toothbrush, toothpaste. I have wipes here, I have my goggles right here because there is a beach near here. And then, hold on, I'm gonna use my roommate's chair to climb up here. And then I have some paper towels, another towel, and then this little grooming set that my friend Sam got me. I got lotion right here, Clorox wipes, and then some laundry pods that I could snack on. And then on the inside of the door, I taped a little dryer sheet so I could keep all my clothes fresh in here. I highly recommend you do that because it really does work. And then all these electronics, this is literally a drawer full of cables, stuff that I need for whatever. I have a very nice salt lamp that's right here. I love how this looks. And then right here I have my stress whistle. This video has actually been sponsored by my friends over at Camuso because they make these things called the shift. And basically what it is is a stress whistle, like I said. So it is a necklace in which you wear around yourself. So basically what this does is whenever you are having like a stressful time or whenever you're like busy with like life or anything, you just slow down, you have this around your neck and you just take a little deep breath. Because whenever you're stressed out, people tell you to just stop and take a deep breath and this really forces you to do that exact thing because there's a little knob on the inside that slows down your breathing. I'm just gonna read the little instructions here. How to shift. Inhale when your mind is busy by taking a slow deep breath in through the nose and into the belly. Become aware of your thoughts. Exhale for 10 seconds through the shift and release all the air from your belly. And notice your thoughts shifting to your breath. Relax your muscles as you exhale through the shift. Feel the tension release as you loosen your jaw and shoulders. Repeat the breathing cycle at least five times. Your nervous system is now shifting your mind and body into a calmer state. Wear it as a reminder to be aware of your thoughts and to anchor your mind by slowing your breath. That's where the peace of mind lives at the present moment. So as a person that has anxiety and is easily stressed by things, it is very nice to have this with me. So whenever I'm busy or I'm stressed by or bothered by anything in life, I could just remember that this is around my neck and I could just take a slow deep breath. And I feel like me living in a college dorm and just school in general for everyone is a very stressful time and you just need to slow down sometimes. And you can get that proper calming by having a shift with you. If you click the link down in the description, you could get your shift today. And if you use my promo code 18JasonM, you will get 15% off of your first purchase. So make sure you get your shift today. On the top of my bedside table, I have a fan. I also have a little nice box fan because my dorm I already told you guys this, my dorm does not have any AC. So this thing is an essential. 
just goes in your little window and you just flip it on. It really cools the room down a lot and then I also have this nice fan right here which I turn on. But it creates a lot of background noise when I'm filming videos so that's going to turn off. On top of my bed I have these nice little shelves right here and it holds all of my schoolwork, my books, whatever I might be reading at the time. Calculators right there, Rubik's Cube. Um, and then I have all my pencils right here which I'm going to be needing for school. In this corner, I really don't know what this corner is, it's just miscellaneous stuff right here. I have more pens and pencils, glasses, whatever I might be needing. On the other side here, I have my ocarina. Over here, I have my stress balls, like this little Japanese squishy thing. Then also a stress ball of Dwight Schrute. And over here is this very nice picture I have of Lily, and then I got this eagle over here. On top of here, I have this nice little gift from my girlfriend, as well as a banana. You might know why a banana exactly. On top of here, I have my VR headset, which actually broke right before I started filming this. The lens popped out. Oh, right here. Oh, it sucks. I have to fix that. And then here is my lunch box, but I'm actually using it as a first aid kit because it could hold everything in here. Hold on. Inside of here, I got these band-aids. I have a throat coat spray, some airborne hand sanitizer. I have my vocal drops in which I use when I perform. Some little ibuprofen in which I put in the icebreaker thing so I could sneak it into high school. Then at the top here, I got some tea whenever it needs to be spilled. So yeah, I was super excited to be able to show you guys my dorm room tour. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe. For more videos, then don't forget, click down the link in the description. Use my promo code to get your shift. And I will see you guys in the next video.